In today's video, we're gonna be fishing around some tropical islands off the northeast coast of Australia. But this time with a bit of a twist, we're going to challenge ourselves today. And the challenge is we've got to catch 10 fish, but we have to change lures after every single fish we catch. So 10 fish, 10 different lures in one day out on the water. All right, to get today kicked off, get one lure off the board. Gonna start off with the um, 85 mil curly vibe and just gonna drop it down on the shoal here. So we're in like 20 meters of water and it comes up to like eight or nine or so. And I've already noticed there's stacks of bait and there's some fish there as well uh, through that bait. So That's a fish. Oh, I didn't think it was a fish for a sec. Ah, he's trying to get me in the bottom. He's in the bottom a bit. He's rubbing on something. Come on up. I thought I was snagged for a sec. Oh, that feels really weird. Might be in his mouth. That's what I feel rubbing. Might just back the drag a little. Doesn't feel overly massive, but... Oh, it's a cracking trout! That's what I must have felt. I must have just felt his, felt his teeth. Uh, yeah! Straight away. First drift of the morning. We got ourselves an absolutely stunning coral trout. And one lure ticked off straight away. Now this fish is well and truly legal, but I'm just going to get him on the pragma. Just to measure, just to see. He's probably around 50 centimetres, I'd say. And if you pinch the tail down, he's like 54. It's a cracking fish. There we go, that's an absolutely cracking start to the morning. Good 50 plus centimetre coral trout. Now, it's this guy's unlucky day, um, because these guys are extremely tasty and we're very lacking on fish in the household. So I'm gonna bleed him, chuck him on ice. But that's one lure ticked off, one fish, just nine more to go now. If you didn't see before, that's a little lure there, a little curly vibe, but he's coming off and we're on to lure number two. And, but what are we throwing next? Chuck this back in here at least. Might stick with something similar sort of size and profile, yeah. this little bad boy on this uh, four inch uh, paddle bait from the guys at chase baits similar sort of profile and obviously it's the same basically the same color as well so we'll drop that down surely this works just as well just got to set up another drift now so we'll drive back up and then drop her down alrighty we'll get this up there a bit Not as big, but it's a fish. Little trout. Little trouty. Micro man. The size of that guy. <laughs> See you, bud. Well, at least that's two fish, two lures. Literally, we've only, that's only a second drift, so. At least I can take that off. And I think we've got just a big brown. Only got a couple of these left, but 
If you haven't seen this before, this is the bigger version of the curly prawn. Now people have been asking about these when they're coming out. By the time you see this video, they should be within a few weeks to a month, I reckon. It's supposed to be in March, so shouldn't be long. Okay. Set back up for another drift, drop this bad boy down, see what happens. Right, send this bad boy out there. Oh, it got eaten on the sink. Wow. Ooh. Oh, he's got me in something. It's gonna free spool and drive up. I've only got really light leader on actually. I don't know if I can get him out. Damn, this could be very bad. Should not have thrown the lighter rod. gonna put it in gear, try and drag him slowly away. I've only got 30 litre on man. Just wanna drag him away from the from the reef. Why do I have to throw such a light set up? for a sec. The issue is now as well that I know my leader was oh, what's happening? It's swimming up. Why is he coming to the surface? Is this a shark? I can't see man. It's right in the glare of the sun. It's on the surface. What is this thing? What in the world? It's a cobia! No wonder that was such a wild fight. He actually had me in the bottom as well. I haven't got a cobia in that many years. I was wondering why he's coming up to the surface. This is only like a 20 pound setup as well. Oh, big shark on him, big shark on him. down you dumbass you're gonna get mauled if you go down come up idiot oh, up 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 oh they're so strong man yeah to grab this net come on over here champ. Oh, 
he's still green, man. Come on. Get your head up, you grub. Far out. Get a chance to net in here. If I can get him to come up. No. Oh. There we go. Holy hell. That was really not what I was expecting to catch today. Yeah, my leader is shredded like it's rust up up here. It's only like 30 pound man. It's lucky that held on. He's like, he's like 95 centimeters. It's so hard. To, they're so fasty. Solid little cobia there, just under a meter long. Um, on that little, the curly prawn prototype there. I haven't caught one of these for like so many years. It's pretty rare to get them around here, especially in close. Like I haven't caught one in the last three and a half years living here, so um, I've fished fish this zone several times. That's really cool. Epic fight. Really crazy strong fish. And that's three lures, three fish, and we've only done three drifts. Ah. It's a lure again there. The, um, this prototype of bigger curly prawn that's coming out soon. I'm actually going to keep this guy. I've never actually eaten cobia, so since it's a very rare capture for me, I'm going to give it a go. I want to try it, so he's well over the legal size limit, so no worries there. I'm going to give him a try, see how he goes. I've heard mixed, mixed reviews. Even if I let him go, he might not make, especially with that shark hanging around. So we're going to keep him, so I'm going to bleed him, chuck him on ice, and then we'll set back up for another drift. The next thing is like, what do we put on next? Um, oh, no brainer, Bowley. No bloody brainer. Up to the next lure. This is lure number four. One of my all-time favourites. 150 mil ultimate squid from the guys chase baits again. This just catches fish. So I'm pretty confident we'll be able to tick this off pretty quickly. Ah, uh, get that up there. Now I probably should have tied on the um, onto the heavier setup. I was way undergunned for that fish, but oh well. Drop back down. I don't worry. Eh? This is only really like 20 pound tackle. Literally first hop on the bottom. This is another trout. Just small though. It's a bit sad. I wanted to catch something a bit bigger on this lure. Yes, another trout, stunning fish, and he's probably legal as well, but we'll let this guy go. See you, matey. Just like that, four fish, four lures in four drifts. <laughs> All right, well, the squid can come off for now. There is one thing I actually have that I do want to try here that I haven't really before. Um, good. In here. Next lure on the cards, the 110 mil armor prawn. Prawn imitation, but it's also a vibe as well. So I'll punch this up, let that sink down, and pretty much just be hopping and lifting that on the bottom. It's a bit more of a slow sink than the curly vibes. It's a little bit harder to get down, but we'll get down, no worries. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's just swinging my line around the front. Oh, it's not a small fish. Oh, he had me in there for a sec. Come on, I need to come up. I think this is a good trout. Oh, he's trying to murder me in the bottom. Holy hell. What the 
the hell just happened there? That was really weird. Oh, I might have hooked another one of these cobias. Unless a shark's eating my trout. I think that actually might have happened. Yeah, this doesn't feel like the first fish I hooked. This might be a shark. Because it's super heavy. Yeah, I think that shark that we saw earlier on the cobia has caught me, uh, got me trout. It's unfortunate. I think as an angler, you want it to not be a shark, even though you're 99.9% .9 sure it is. You don't want to kind of break it off, so you just fight it, even though it probably is a shark, but on the very slight chance it's not, you might have a super, like a trophy fish. Yeah, so the, the no like tail beats and just the feeling of the weight. Tells me this is most likely a shark. Yeah. Oh, it's finally popped. Wow. Ah, oh, it's about 10 minutes plus of my life I probably didn't need to waste. I wanted to keep my lure though. Should be able to tell if we get some leader back. If it was a shark. Yeah, I got leader. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a bit, it's a bit rasped up all the way. I think it definitely was a shark. That's all right, makes me feel a bit better. Uh, I think there's a couple sharks here and um, looks like another boat's moved in on this spot now, so they can just have it. I'm gonna go check out another zone. Yeah, I can try it. Use a couple different lures there, so we'll, we'll go do that. And we just come over the top of this mark here and um, you can see a stack of bait on the on the top there and then a stack of fish on the front side. Yeah, so we're gonna try set up a drift. We're just about on tide change though, so <laughs> we might not be, in, be doing too much drifting. What I might do to help that though is I'm gonna chuck the electric motor in and I'm gonna use that to kind of push us along and cover ground that way, just so we get the lure moving through the zone, not just sitting in one spot where there's no fish, and kind of try and bring it bring it to the fish. To start us off here, I'm gonna chuck the um, chuck a jig down. 60 gram, 60 gram jig. Uh, what are we in? We're in 36 meters of water with not much run, so this will get down very easy. Let's see if we can get lure number five ticked off. They don't seem to really want to be touching the jig. We are right on the tide change, so that definitely won't be um, helping the situation at the moment. This will fish much better once that tide starts running, but for now, what we might do... So the prototype, the bigger version of Curly Vibe, these should also be out in the next few weeks as well. So keep your eyes open. I know a few of you guys have been asking about it. But I think for now, while the tide's pretty slow, that vibration could trigger a bit of a reaction strike from those fish down there, seeing, seeing as they don't want to eat the jig. I think as soon as that um, run starts going, we're going to start catching fish. <sighs> well, I did about half a dozen or so drifts on over this spot, not a single fish. So, gonna make a move, go hit somewhere else, because it's just really not happening here, is it? All right, we're just about to push up on the flat on this island. And, these, these are the boys I'm looking for. Just tied on, 50 mil crusty crab, little small, little crab imitation. And as you can probably see, we just pushed up right up into the super shallow stuff. We're going to push deeper and deeper. We're going to have a look for a um, black spot or blue bone tusk fish. Physically just try to spot them and sight cast them. So we'll see if we can find one up here. It's that one there. Might be one swimming over near it. You just, no, that was one. He swam over to it, did a 360 and then swam off. What a dog. Typical tusky stuff. A little shark here, probably like four feet. Just cruising this flat as well. Go 
a big one up in here. He's just like right next to a stick though. I just turned. Oh, no, he spooked, man. Look at him. Wow. No, no luck on this flat. But um, there's another one I want to try out quickly before the tide gets too low. We'll get up there now. Alrighty, flat number two. Haven't got heaps of time up here as the tide is dropping. Good one here. Oh, he's swimming out the boat. Probably won't be able to catch him. Yeah. Ah, oh, stuff you, man. Of course he's got to be swimming at the boat, man. He's big too. Hmm. Man, I stink. It's alright, we're going to mix it up now. Get off the flats. Go do something different. Because I need to put some bloody fish in this boat. Alright, new zone, new lure. One of these bad boys. And jigged. And one of these. Yep. Sweet. Just hold on. 65 mil curly prawn. Actually, just went over a stack of fish, so just gonna like quickly cast back in there. Just then come through on the sounder there. Could be some trevallies or something. Yep. Oh, it popped off. Wow. Haven't caught a fish for like three and a half hours. First one we hook after all that time and just lose it. Standard, whatever man, be like that. But yes, what we come here for is along this stretch here, we've got all these um, isolated rocks and bommies all spread out. Basically, we're just going to cast around those and work our lures along the sides, and hopefully, some fish hanging on them that come out and eat them. Surely, we can take a couple of fish off pretty quickly doing this. Oh, eat it, man! Uh, oh, oh! No way. That is one of the smallest trout I've ever caught. But it's a bloody fish, man. Didn't say how to be legal size fish. That's five. Five out of ten. See you, bud. Quickly change lures, get back in there. And I think I know exactly what I want to throw. This is the 85 mil um, prawn. So we're going to tie him on and get that in there. Alright, send this up. I'm sure we can knock this one out quick. Yep. First cast. What is that? Oh. It's a hexy. I mean, it's a hexy, but it's a fish, you know? We're on the numbers game at the moment. I've just spent three and a half hours catching absolute no absolutely nothing. It's good to be able to take a fish off quickly. See you, bud. Just one here. Uh, this one here. So that's six lures, six fish. So that means we've only got four more to go. And right here is the uh, four inch swinger. You might have seen from a couple of videos ago. This is the kind of bombies that I'm talking about. They're all spread out all through here. Yep. Wasn't even paying attention. Oh, get away from that bomby. Oh, someone's trying to eat it. A cod's trying to eat it. A cod's trying to eat my grassy man. Oh, he just stole the lure. No, and it comes off. You are kidding. I had a fish on, I had a grassy on. Cod comes, tries to like, it's like grabs its head, steals the lure, and then pops off. Like, you're kidding. Oh! Get out of that 
reef. No way he's got me in there. No way, I had him out. No way, you're kidding! Oh my, I'm getting stitched up man, I thought I had him out. He went in and then I pulled him out and then he just went straight back in. Oh my, oh, can't catch a break man. That's a good fish too, I'm pretty sure it was a spangled emperor. Ah, just fully wrecked me man. I've got more of those at least. Still. Oh, I'm in the reef. Come on. Up over. Something just ate it on the sink, it's only small, he just had me in there a bit. It's this little, it's a little flowery, little flowery cod. Little flowery cod has just completely inhaled that on the sink. <laughs> Get him unhooked. Really cool patterns on these guys. See you mate. Seven. Seven fish, seven lures. Four inch swinger ticked off. Just gonna make a move, there's barely anything left to fish here, so. All right, we've just come back out deep, just to the wreck that we were at um, earlier this morning. Just chuck that vibe down there. Just gonna see if we can get a couple of lures ticked off in the deep water. Just not really happening in the shallows. Oh, oh my god! I was like, why is it? Why is it not hitting the bottom? Because a fish bloody ate it. Oh. Uh, well, at least we got a bite, so it's a promising sign. We'll set back up another drift. Right, drift number two. Try again. Yep. Oh, a bite been so long since I've had a fish on. <laughs> well, not massive at all. Feels like probably a trout, but at least it's a fish, man. Jeez, things are looking grim for a bit there. And we have... Oh, it's a nanny! Little largey, yeah. What the hell? Little large mouth nanny guy. Get that out. What's he spitting up? It's a crab claw he's spitting up. Look at that. That's wild. Get him back for he spews up on the deck. But it's a lovely little large mouth nanny guy. He's probably just undersized, lucky for him. I'll let him go. Oh, finally another lure off. Eight lures, eight fish. Oh, I wasn't sure we were gonna, we were gonna get that one. That was tough going. So I just set up another drift, tied on 60 gram jig. And we'll drop that straight down there. Hopefully we can knock this one off quick. Usually if there's one of those guys, there's a fair few more, so. See if something oh on the sink didn't even get down there oh pulling a bit of drag there's like a chevali or something yeah not that big but literally didn't even get to the bottom man something's eating it oh it's a lot of head knocks actually this might be something else Oh, yeah, it's another nana guy. Oh, stunning. Yeah. Oh, well, that was quick, man. Didn't even get into the bottom. 
he might actually be close to legal size. Might give him a bit of a measure. Yeah, he is, yeah, 48 centimeters, and these guys are legal at 40 centimeters. So he is going to come home with us, unluckily for him. So I'm going to bleed him, chuck him in the esky. And we've got to think about a new lure to put on because we've only got one more to go. See what we can try and throw next. The only issue I've got is I don't have much that I can really sink down in um, in 35 meters. It's probably only really one thing. Got this little thing right here. It's a it's like a it's a metal slug, but it also kind of flutters on the sink as well. We've had it for years and years. You can tell by the the quality on the hook there. The bit of rust, but. Might um, tie that on and try and, I guess, try and use it like a jig a bit. Let's try this. The jig didn't even get to the bottom, so maybe we can get the same sort of result for this. This That would be amazing. Oh, did a couple drifts of metal. That didn't really work. I wonder if I can whip up some other sort of concoction. But the smaller mud butt, which is like 70, 75 mil, and it usually comes pre-rigged, but the weight's about 14 grams for this one. Um, so I've just jimmied it up on a one ounce sinker, 6 o hook, a bit oversized, but I think this might work. Just chucked it on the spin rod as well to help it get down easier. Come on, just something. Eat this. Surely there's one dumb fish down there. Alright, I'm going to do our last drift at this spot. We don't catch anything. I'm gonna move. We just gotta make this happen. We're on the bottom. Come on. Yep. Oh. 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 It's pretty big. Well. Gotta get him away from that wreck. No. Come on. No, it just broke off. Ah, oh, it would have been right on the wreck, man. You can't be serious. Fully just snapped me off on the wreck. Oh, it only was like there. It was just barely in. Oh, my lord. There goes me lure as well. Ah! <sighs> no, I've done like six or seven drifts of this thing and it's just not, it's not working. We're just going to have to go another spot, a little bit shallower, just so we can throw something else because I just can't, I kind of feel like I'm wasting time just throwing this here. Oh, I'm going to make a quick move. Can I get this done then? Way too upset with myself if I didn't get it done. All right, we've come back to the shoal that we're at the very start of today, and this is this is literally my last hope. If it doesn't work here, then I think that's it. So hopefully we can get it done. Yeah, we're gonna get it done. Just have to believe, man. Just tied on the 110 mil armor prawn one we lost this morning to that shark eating my fish. We just need to catch one fish. How difficult could it be? Well, that's two drifts without a fish. Uh, drift number three. Drift number five. I think this is drift number nine. Alrighty, drift number ten. Number eleven. I just got bitten off. On the sink, I just got bitten off. Are you for real? I just did 11 drifts. 11 drifts at this spot to just to get bitten off. Oh my god. Why are you doing this to me? Oh, I just want to give up, but I can't. Oh my gosh, I just forgot. We haven't even done a flick prawn today. 
I can just chuck a flick prawn on a jig head. Like, that'll be so easy, surely. And if that doesn't catch a fish, I don't know what, I don't know what else to tell you. Put a flick prawn, like 95 mil flick prawn on a one ounce jig head, just to get it down there in the zone, because we were struggling with the vibe, with the run. This is literally our 12th drift at this spot. We're about 11 hours in to fishing, and we've needed to catch one fish for like over two hours now. <laughs> Alright, that's the bottom. Come on, flick prawn, take me to the promised land. Yep. Oh my gosh. A fish. It's a fish. Get in this bloody boat. I think it's a cod or something, but it doesn't matter. Oh, it's a trout. I've hooked him in the side. That counts though. <laughs> Holy hell, I've hooked him through the fin. I didn't even eat it, I got him straight through the fin. Oh, thank you my little man. That was something else. Don't think I've ever been so stoked to catch such a small trout. We finally did it. 10 fish on 10 different lures. I really didn't think it would be as hard as it actually was. That was very hard. If you do want to check out the tackle box that we're using today, uh, there'll be a link in the description uh, for you to go check that out if you're interested. And also, uh, majority of the lures that we're using today were from the guys from Chase Baits. Their link will be in the description as well. I bloody hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going home. I'm done. I'm absolutely done.